This is OnePlus 60 after 4 years. It's a legend, but is it still worth it? Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Welcome and welcome back to Gadget Rev Now. OnePlus 60 was a flagship killer back then. It was one of the fastest phones back in 2018. It's a 4 years old phone but with a flagship Snapdragon 845 and 6 to 8 gigs of RAM. The phone is still usable and with its cheap price, you might find this phone really appealing in 2023. It has a sleek design with Gorilla Glass protection, it has dual SIM card, optic AMOLED screen, tons of custom rooms and dual camera that even budget mid-range phone would not be able to offer today. For its value, this is a budget mid-range phone killer. This phone is a legend. So today we'll talk about the pros and cons and our recommendation. Let's go to work. First, let's talk about the things that we love about this phone and what makes it special in 2023. The first thing that we love is the price. On used market, you would probably be able to buy this around $150 to $200. Anything above that is overpriced. This is a legit flagship phone of 2018 where you would find the phones like iPhone XR, the Samsung Galaxy S9, and Huawei P20 Pro, which even today, you will still see people using them. I still see a lot of people still rocking the iPhone XR and Samsung S9, so the phones of 2018 are still good up to these days. Expectations, these are not the greatest and latest phones, but usable. I still feel that the design of this phone looks good in 2023. I love the curve back which makes the phone slimmer than it truly is. And how about the symmetrical camera module at the back sitting in the middle? It is almost flush than like the camera modules you will see on Samsung Ultra version or even iPhones today. We also have the silent rocker on the side that is so useful like the silent switch you would see on iPhones. The build of this phone is unmatched. For the price, you will have the Gorilla Glass 6 in front and aluminum frame. These parts are reserved for flagship phones and even the flagship phones today like the fan edition of Samsung only has plastic back that will scratch easily. This will take a beating even without a case and as soon as you hold it, you can feel it's a premium phone. It has 6.41 inch optic AMOLED screen with 85.6% screen to body ratio. The screen isn't big at the same time not small for everyone. You got those deep blacks that you can only achieve on LED panels. It has a full HD resolution with a tall 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio and a crisp 402 PPI density. Seriously, these are still the specs you would see on a flagship phone even today. Most of the panels are still 1080p and nothing has changed much in terms of AMOLED technology. I mean, they are brighter but same rich colors as any AMOLED screens. The performance of this phone is still serviceable. At this point in time, all phones can play mobile games. It's just a matter of how sluggish the performance will be. Starting with social media, text and calls, and basic things you need from a smartphone, it will be able to provide. Average work like video editing and light games, the phone will still be able to handle with no issue. It is when, when you go for the heavy use like heavy games and multitasking, you will feel the age of the phone. But if you think about it, for $150 to $200, you won't be able to see any phones as fast as this to be honest. It is a flagship performing phone. It is older and a little bit sluggish at times, but in most cases, it will perform decent. And although I would like to put Android 11 as one of the cons of this phone, I know OnePlus 60 is well supported by devs online. You may be able to see a custom ROM for this phone. Again, Android 11 is totally fine. All apps will still work flawlessly on the phone. You'll be missing some of the features from the newer OS, but this phone is still running smoothly on Android 11. This phone has dual SIM capability. I don't know if there's any version of this phone that isn't dual SIM capable. This is a perfect travel phone if you like to bring your SIM card and buy another locally from the country you will visit or in some countries I know people are using two networks. On my own personal use, I put both my personal and work SIM card on this phone so I only need to bring one phone and I'm connected to everyone. One good feature of this phone that happened in 2018 is under the display fingerprint sensor, it is optical and fast. Most phones will either have a dedicated sensor at the back, at the side using the power button, and even the aging face unlock of the iPhone. You will see almost all Android phones today uses the under the display method. So in a nutshell, your phone is as capable as the newer phones today if we talk about the unlocking method. Next thing that we like is the decent performing 3700 mAh battery. Although this may also go to our cons because of its age, you may not be able to find a long-lasting OnePlus 6T. 
If you're able to score a very good condition OnePlus 6T for casual to average use, this phone will survive the whole day. The 3700 mAh is close to our standard 4000 mAh today. This phone shoots 4K at 60fps, so if you're vlogging on a budget, you would get some crisp and decent videos out of this phone. This is the rear camera video recording of OnePlus 6T, 4K at 60fps. And this is the selfie video recording, 1080p at 30fps. I think in most situations for vlogging, this will be good enough. The image quality you would get from this phone is also decent, not the best. OnePlus are not known to have good cameras. Even with Hasselblad came in, you can install Gcam though because the processor is Snapdragon. And that's the list of the things that we love about this phone. Now let's talk about the cons. Now let's talk about the things that we hate. First, there's no waterproofing. So be careful in dunking this to water. It's a no-no. It may be able to withstand splashes. If you can buy a waterproof case or cover on water activity, do it. There's also no micro SD card expansion. I mean, it's not a big deal now, but back in 2018, all Android phones still has micro SD card expansion. So you would think this phone has it, but it doesn't. Because it's already 4 years old, there's no security patch anymore. Even if you install custom ROMs, you are stuck with whatever security patch it has. So I will be really careful installing apps on this phone and going to unsafe sites. And even though it has optic AMOLED screen, sadly there's no always on display. So to check for notification or time, you always need to lift to wake up the screen. It has what they call AOD for quite some time, meaning it will just show AOD for a few seconds and that's about it. And lastly, there's no wireless charging on this phone although it has glass back. I mean, an iPhone 8 of 2017 has it, so I'm not sure why they cut it off on this model. Maybe to save production cost, that's why OnePlus was able to sell this cheap before. So these are the things that we don't like about this phone. The pros and cons are even. So what is Gadget Revnow's verdict? Is OnePlus 60 still worth it? OnePlus 60 might be 4 years old now, but if you can buy this phone cheap, this will serve you well. I will not recommend this to people who love great camera phones. I mean, the camera is just okay, and even though it has decent battery size, with its age, you may need the battery replacement soon. Also, installing custom ROM might be difficult, so you may end up getting stuck on Android 11. And I will recommend this to anyone who needs a budget phone with dual SIM capability, great screen, and decent performance. With Gorilla Glass 6, Optic AMOLED display, and 6 to 8 gigs of RAM, this phone is a legend and yes, it is worth it. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll continue to compare this phone in our channel, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.